tap it right to left. Welcome to this lower body hit and core workout. You're gonna want a stability ball, a mat, ankle weights, and weights, or a body bar. All right, guys, eight working tracks. This first track is a super quick warm up. This is a bone healthy, rev up your metabolism workout. Hamstring curl. So glad you're here with me today. Track one, we're just warming it up. And you all know my name is Angie, Angie Fitness TV. So glad you're here with me today. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Really quick, dynamic warm up. Now if you ever feel you're not thoroughly warmed up, just do this warm up two times. Touch your insole, touch your insole. Now, I'm gonna be using my heavy weight today. You can use light hand weights, medium hand weights, or your heavy hand weights. It's up to you. Heels, tap in front, arms front and side. Track one, we're just warming up our body. Ooh, are you ready to sculpt tone and define the lower body and your core? Toe tap, chest press. Right here. It's really important that we just get our entire body warm and track one. Okay, let's just do knee pulls. Starting to warm up. Take the knees to your belly button. Lean back just a little bit. Yeah? So, in track two, we're gonna use our stability ball. So I wanna make sure you have that stability ball by your side. Okay, let's tap it right to left, let's cross. Thumbs up, just doing cross rotational patterns. Really getting that midsection nice and warm. Remember, you should always warm up before you do any cardio or strength workout. You just want the body, all of the joints, nice and warm. Let's take our hands up over our head. That's it. Grab your stability ball. All right, come to a wall. We all have a wall somewhere. Walk your feet out. We're gonna squat down and up. Stability ball, hit, lower body. Hit it. Go. I don't care how quick and I don't care how slow. I know we're just warming up here. Still warming up, so that's why I'm adding the no weight. Just the ball and just your body weight. Track two is all about using our own body weight to sculpt tone and define that lower body. Come on, no tension in the head, nice. neck, or shoulders. All right, good job. Now what I want you to do here is you're gonna lift up that left toe and we're gonna come down and we're gonna come up. But you're, sorry, left heel, left heel. Let's go. So your left heel is lifted. So I'm really making this right leg do a lot of the work. <sighs> come on, go as quick or slow as you want. So that left heel is not on the ground. No tension in the head, neck, or shoulders. Remember, this is a beautiful bone healthy workout. You need bone health, so as we age, we can maintain that muscle mass. Lift, left heel. We lose 10% muscle mass per decade. So this workout right here is gonna help create muscle mass. You know, sculpt, tone, define. Develop those muscles in the lower body and your core. We love to work core, so the right heel is off the ground. We love to work core, so we can maintain a beautiful upright posture. Do you slouch? Oh, that's a big no-no as you get older. You ever see people who are slouched for life? No, no, we don't want that right heel off the ground. Push it through, guys. Body movement love. Rest. Right here. You're gonna take it wide. It's a wide squat. We're not in a plie. Knees are gonna track to the back of the room. Knees are in alignment. They, cut, they slide in the same direction the toes are pointing. Shoulders back. Hands on your hips. 
I want you to sit it down. Hey, Fiona. Woo, for those of you that are watching this recorded, I live stream every month through the week at 10.30 a.m. Central USA time. You may be watching this recorded, but it was a live stream. So I say hello to everyone that pops on. Beautiful wide squat. Rest. Now, you will take it in to a plie, down and up. So now you're in a plie. Now I'm really getting the inner thighs, chest tall and proud. Let's go. You're in a beautiful plie, inner thigh. Only go as far down as you feel comfortable. Hands on your hips, shoulders set back, down and away from your ears. I know your lower body is really warm now. Track three, we're gonna hit the core. You're gonna want your light hand weights and your mat. Rest. All right guys, toe heel in. You're gonna take your feet, you're gonna do a narrow squat, but we're gonna lift both heels. So, you're on the front pads of your feet. Heels are off. Inner thighs are super glued. Insides of your knees are super glued. Heels are off the mat. You're in stiletto high heel shoes, working that range of motion, chest tall and proud, no tension, and the head, neck, or shoulders. Absolutely using your own body weight to sculpt, tone, and define. Recover. Okay, put the stability ball up. Okay, no, actually don't put the stability ball up. We're gonna use it for core. Don't put that stability ball up just yet. I have three pound hand weights in my hand. We are going to be working core in track three. Breathe it through. Now, if you feel your heart rate is too high, obviously you're gonna stay up. If you're ready to come down, please come down with me. I have three pound hand weights. So, I'm gonna lengthen my legs. I'm gonna rest my calves on my stability ball. Now, remember your core is the front, side, and back of your body. <laughs> it's just not the front of your body, guys. Oh, this is your little quick recovery. So let's do a hip lift with your legs straight. Let's just do one, let's see how that feels. And let's lower, are you ready? We're gonna lift for two, and we're gonna lower for two. No. In four, three, lift for two, lower for two. Right here, legs are straight. Lift your hips to the ceiling and butt touches the ground. Lift for two. You are absolutely working your core. Track three is all about the core. Lift for two, lower for two. Lift for two, lower. Couple more. We're gonna keep our butt on the ground. Let's go up for two with the upper body. Up, two, over for two, soft bend in the elbow. So our legs are resting, soft bend in the elbow. Ooh, we're really working the lower abs, no tension in the head, neck, or shoulders. Don't fling your weight. Roll it up, roll it down. Roll it up, roll it down. Roll it up, roll it down. Now give me the hip, up, two. Butt lifts, hips to the ceiling, right here. Push, 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 straight legs. You got four more. Squeeze a quarter in between your butt cheeks. Beautiful work, not lower body. How about two more, and we're gonna go into the core. Arms over your head, soft bend in your elbows, two by two, up. No tension in the head, neck, or shoulders. Beautiful core work. Four more, four more. 
Three more. Last two. One more. You're going to get a quick break. Now, I want you to roll the ball in. I want you to have your heels on your ball. Shoulders melt down and away from your ears. Lift your butt cheeks. We're going to roll it out for two and in for two for eight. Roll it out, two, in, one. Straight legs out, bend the knees. Two, out, two, in, three. Out, two, in, four. Out, two, in, five. Out, two, in, six. Two more. Roll it out for two. One more. I now want you to set your butt on the ground. Take the ball in between the legs. Lift the ball up. All I want is your legs at a 45. Stop bending your knee. We're gonna roll up for two and down for two for core. It looks like this. Up, two, over for two. We're just holding the ball. Up for two, over for two. Soften in the elbows. Move through that wet cement. Just hold the ball. A lot of work going on here. Just two more, two more is all I want. One more. All right, legs go. Watch me, down for two, lift for two, no upper body. Bend, straighten at that 45, lower core. You got four more, four more. Upper body is rested, beautiful core track. Two more. One more. You're gonna just rotate the ball, looks like this. Rotate one leg in front, and then you rotate the other leg in front. I don't care how quick or how slow. Rotate. Your timing. It's a lot of hard work here. Rotate. I'm asking a lot of your lower body, and I'm asking a lot of your core. You're just rotating one leg, and the other leg. So your own timing. You're going to take one leg in front. All right. Put the ball up. We are officially done with the ball. Put your ball up. We're going to go into hit, but don't worry. I'll rewind it. No. Hit it. No, you don't have to hit it yet. Okay. We're going into squats, lunges, and deadlifts. So this is a time you're going to use your heavy weights, light or medium, or your bar. Okay. I'm going to use my bar. I have 20 pounds on each side. Light, heavy, we're going to go into a beautiful wide squat. Okay? So, let me rewind it. Here we go. Are you ready? We're going to go into a beautiful wide squat. I got 20 pounds on each side. Hit it. Track four. Two by two. Knees are tracking to the back of the room. Really pressing down through that right and left heel. Push it through. Just push it through. Come on, guys. Track four of eight. Really challenging your lower body and core using different pieces of equipment. We're not gonna use weight after this. Rest. All right, deadlifts. Feet hip width apart, shoulders set back, down and away from your ears, hinge from the hip, down and up. Okay, let's go, your timing. I like that two by two pattern for me. A beautiful deadlift, pressing through that right and left heel, Hinging from your hip, natural core activation. Go as slow or as fast as you need to go to keep the form. Okay, we're gonna go back into the squat. 
We're going to go back into the squat. Beautiful functional movement pattern. Wide squat. Knees are tracking in the same direction as the toes. Chest tall and proud. Go. Knees are not caving forward. Beautiful. We're going to stick with squats and deadlifts in track four. Very much functional movement. Sit down and that right and left heel. Nice and equal. Really pressing it down, pressing it up. Rest. <sighs> Deadlift. You guys, let's get it. Feet hip width apart. Shoulders set back, down and away from your ears. I'm working your pushing, pushing and pulling. Go. Pushing and pulling. <sighs> Muscles. So in this track, we're very much pushing and pulling. Bone health, rev up your metabolism, gain muscle mass workout. We are here to push, to sculpt, to tone, to define. Hinging from your hip. One more, guys. One more wide squat. Remember, your heels, knees are tracking in the same direction as the toes. No tension in the head, neck, or shoulders. Chest is tall and proud. Sit back nice and equal between the right and left heel. Push. Beautiful push, pull. Lower body weight workout here. We're getting ready to hit core and track five. We're gonna do side line core. Remember, you are here to challenge and change your body. And I'm here to give that to you. Today, we're really switching it up with stability ball, ankle weights, and weight. Toe heel in. Deadlift. One more time. Woo. Hand shoulder width apart if you have a bar. Shoulder set back down and away from your ears. So, really activate through the core. As you get tired, you're gonna wanna not active, I mean your core is always activated. Uh, press up through that right and left heel. Nice and equal. Really pushing. Hinging from the hip, working the back side of our body. Recover. Okay, put that weight up. Huh. Grab one, one weight, one three or one five pound weight. Absolutely up to you. Ooh, we are going to go into side lying core. So the last time we were on our back, now we're gonna go to side lying. So in this one 35 minute workout, I am pushing your body to move in different directions and to use different pieces of equipment. So let's go ahead and put on our ankle weights. Why not? Let's add to it. Let's get those ankle weights on. My ankle weights are 2.5 pounds right now. Let's just put them on. Why not? We're ready for it. Whew, heart rate is high, guys. My heart rate's high. I'm pushing. Okay, so weight, no weight. I think I'm gonna do a three pound. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, you're gonna just pick a side, guys. Okay, come to the back edge of your mat. We're gonna just kinda lean. We're gonna take elbow and knee. Here we go, 16, one. I got a three pound in my hand. I don't care what side. Really working in through your core and track five. You got eight more, here we go, eight. Seven, six, remember it's lower body and core. Four, three. Oh, you guys are gonna love me for this one. So we started down, now let's take it up. Now right here, let's lift that top leg. We're gonna do 16 more. I started you low, now I'm in a high position. We're gonna go knee, elbow, same thing, 16, one. Two, 
three, you got 16, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, challenge to change, variety. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, come on down. You're gonna just love me. Beautiful. Now, if you need, you can just take that back leg. We're gonna go into side plank. Let's go. 30 second side plank hold, starting now. Lift the bottom hip. Isometric hold. We're working the lateral outside of your body. Let's go, you guys. You're strong, fit, and powerful. You are here to create muscle mass. You're here to sculpt, tone, and define, and to really strengthen your muscles. You don't want to waste away and let your muscles atrophy. You want to put on that muscle mass and release. You're doing that through this workout. Yeah, you are. So we're going to start the easy one. Let's just start on our butt cheek. Yeah? We got 16. Ready? Here we go. One, two. So act like you're moving through that wet cement. Beautiful job. 13 minutes left, guys. You're going to give me what you got in this body nurturing movement bone health class. Ugh. Move through that wet cement. Let's do these beautiful movements. You need to move your body in all directions all the time. All right. Quick break. You know what I'm going to ask of you. <sighs> Quick break. You're going to take your arms up. Lift the leg. 16. Ready? Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. How about eight more? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, four, a uh, plank, side plank. Take it up, 30 seconds, right here. You can hold your hand up if you want. I want that bottom hip to lift to the ceiling. Beautiful job. Beautiful job. Come on, push. Oh, isn't it beautiful that you move your body in all directions? That you are challenging your body to move and grow. That's what I love. All right, take it here. I want you to come in a kneeling position. You're just gonna put a soft bend in your knees. Your butt is up, everything is up. This is core. I just want you to circle. Draw that halo. So from the side, sit up tall. You have a wall in front of you. You have a wall behind you. Soft bend in your elbow. You're just in a kneeling position. Reverse. All right, guys. Ankle weight hit. You can put that light weight up. Oh, you're going to love me. You're going to pick a leg. And we're going to knee. Hit it. Hit it. Let's go. Right here. That's why I asked you to put your ankle weights on. I don't care how quick or how slow you go. Stomp that pizza to the ceiling, guys. Track six of eight. Right here. I want you to lift that heel to the ceiling, working your hamstring and working your glutes. Come on, guys. Don't you love it? We use a stability ball. We used heavy weights or barbell. We're using ankle weights. Yeah. Hands underneath your shoulders. Lift that other leg. You're doing the other leg now. When they tell you to hit it, hit it. Press it up. You can go quicker than me. You can go slower. Beautiful job, guys. Really feeling that in the glutes, the hamstrings. Oh, 
All right. You're going to take this leg. You're just going to pick a leg. You're going to slide. So you're coming to the outside of your body, opposite side. Now, if you can, you can go toe, toe taps, or you just pick up the leg. Keep the leg lifted. It's like you got a dog tail. That leg is a dog tail wagging to the outside of your body, opposite side of your body. Beautiful work. You can tap it or you can take the leg off. Beautiful posterior chain, working the back side of your body. No tension in the head, neck, or shoulders. So let's take our other leg. Do a couple taps. If you don't like the leg off, or your toes or your feet off the ground, do a tap, okay? So you're coming to the outside of your body, crossing the midline of your body. Up to you. Beautiful work. You're going to the outside. You can even follow your leg. Look over your shoulders. Look over your shoulders. Move through that wet cement. All right, go ahead, lay on your back. Yeah, guys, just two more exercises here with these ankle weights. Loving it. And then we're going into core. Okay. Legs are to 45, upper body. We're going to hit some inner thigh. Go. Out and in. Right here. It should be a lot of work with your ankle weight. Should be a lot of work right here. Upper body relax. Soft bend in the knees. Really hit the inner thighs. Moving through that wet cement, nice and equal between that right and that left leg. Really focus on the inner thigh and the core working. We're going to do that one more time. And then we're going on into core and a beautiful stretch, guys. Seven minutes left. Body strong. Body movement, bone health strong. Really <laughs> challenging your body. <sighs> We're going to keep those ankle weights on for our final track. Now press out nice and equal between that right and left inner thigh. Core, natural core activation. You're my teammate, you're my partner. You're really discovering what your body can do for you. Recover. <sighs> She says recover. All right, let's just do basic crunches. I'm not gonna recover. We'll recover when we're done. Basic crunches. Shoulders off the mat. Tuck your chin into the chest. I gaze at the belly button. You can place one hand below your belly button. Beautiful basic crunches. Last working track. Last working track. This workout is 35 minutes start to finish. I expect you to be with me present the entire workout. You're giving your body so much bone health love. Isn't that beautiful? Don't you want to stay strong? Don't you want a great posture? Don't you want a lower body that is really strong and can carry you throughout your day? <laughs> yeah, I don't think you like to hunch, do you? I think you like to get up and down from your toilet seat. <laughs> Ah, oh. now, so right here, we're gonna keep the ankle weights on. We're not gonna use the upper body. These are called knee taps, where the toes tap. We go one, two, ready, here we go, here we go. Core, one, two. I want a beautiful tap. Upper body is relaxed. We have the ankle weights on, so you're working your lower core. One, two, two more sets of eight. Eight, seven, just a beautiful toe tap, six. Come on, push it, this is your last working track. Last working track. One more set of eight, here we go. I know the ankle weights were really, really packing a punch. I feel it myself, working. Move through that wet cement. All right. 
You're going to come up. You're going to turn around. Hands under your shoulders. Knees under your hips. You're going to lift that front leg. You're going to lift that back arm. And you're going to hold this isometric contraction. Now, eye gaze to the ground. You have that ankle weight on. So do you feel all your back stabilizing muscles having to work? Let's go. Hold it. <laughs> I couldn't spit that out quick enough. Beautiful isometric hold. Your foot is neutral. You're just merely holding this here. Okay, you're going to take it down. We're going to high plank. Let's high plank right now. Beautiful high plank. This is a full body movement. You have 10 more seconds. And then we're going to go to that back leg lift. Front arm lift. Squeeze a quarter in between your butt cheeks. Right here. Knees down. Lift that back leg. Lift that front arm. Thumb up. Feel how all those back extensor muscles are having to work. So there's no tension in your foot. There's no tension in your head, neck, or shoulders. So you're just working in opposite directions. Visualize somebody pulling your leg and pulling your opposite arm. And you are just very elasticy, And you're really lengthening that back leg and that front arm. Beautiful job. We're gonna take it in. Let's high plank again. This is your last powerful track right here. You're going to give me 10 more seconds in this beautiful full body high plank. No tension in your head, neck, or shoulders right here. And I want you to come on your knees, sit back, heel to your butt. I'm going to give you just a quick break. We're going to come back into the high plank. Let's hit it. Now in a minute, we're going to take that leg. We're going to do three taps and pulse in. I'm asking a lot of your body in this last track. You're going to take the outside leg. Let's tap it on and in. Tap it. One, two, three, four. Hold it in. Hold it in. I'm asking a lot, but you're strong, fit, and powerful. That back leg taps for four. Here we go. Four. Three, two, just want you to hold it in. High plank for four. Three, two, you're gonna take it down. You're gonna lay on your belly. All right, we're gonna just lift our thighs off of the mat. Upper body is rested. So upper body does nothing. We're gonna lift our thighs off of the mat. We're working low back. Lift, lower. Lift, lower, lift, lift, beautiful. Yes, this is core work. Your back is a part of core. Pulse three up one, down one, up, two, thighs off of the mat, then you drop. Lift, two, three, down. Lift, two, three, down. Lift, two, you get a quick break. Your legs are rested now. I want your hands to come by your side in a T position. Now we're going to lift our chest off the ground. We're going to come forward and we're going to come back. So we're going to touch our thumbs. Here we go. Up for two. Pinkies touch our thighs for two. Up for two. Pinkies touch your thighs. Touch your thumbs over your head. Pinkies to your thighs. Chest off the mat. Eye gaze to the ground. No tension in your head, neck, or shoulders. Whew. That's it. Okay, come back into a beautiful child's pose. Take off those ankle weights. You're gonna get a really, really quick stretch. If you want a longer stretch, look in the description box below and do one of my 15 minute or under extended simple to follow stretches. Upward facing dog. Beautiful workout today. One more time, downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Sorry, I meant <laughs> child's pose. Child's pose. You can just wiggle those hips. Oh, yeah. Upward facing dog. 
come up onto all fours and just cat cow stretch remember this is a super quick stretch i encourage you to do one of my extended stretches from a playlist below roll back on your heels let's get a little calf stretch gorgeous job today oh let's just lean forward you can grab your elbows you can just place your hands on the ground no tension in the head neck or shoulders just circle your head release the tension if you have any tension in the head the neck or shoulders feel this stretch on the back side of your body put a bend in your knee roll it up one vertebra at a time take one heel back beautiful bone health lower body and core workout i recommend you do this workout two times a week on non-consecutive days the challenge of your body weight using the stability ball ankle weights and weights was a big challenge for you today take it up grab a leg always try to switch up your routines every four to six weeks don't get caught up in doing the same workout over and over you won't see results with your body other leg and plus you got to eat clean but i know you know that deep breath in inhale and exhale my name's angie angie fitness tv what was your favorite part of class today what was the most challenging part of class today for you all right guys post share comment subscribe angie angie fitness tv bye guys